Hello everyone. I'm Kishore from Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences and my research is on gut microbiome. We are taught in our childhood that all microbes are bad. They cause some illness to us, but it's not so true. There are many friendly microbes which helps us, which protect us. And we acquire the right combination of these microbes right at birth. They reside in the gut and grow in colonies. We have colonies of virus, fungi, predominantly bacteria living in the gut and collectively called as gut microbiome. These trillions of bacteria are always at war, trying to conquer gut as their habitat. In young individual, army of good bacteria outnumbers the army of bad bacteria, by which it maintains a protective environment in the gut. It acts as a barrier for foreign substances. As there are no intruders, bone marrow will not initiate an inflammation and all the vital organs like brain, heart and capillaries will function healthily. However, with the aging, bad bacteria outnumber the good bacteria. Now these bad pathogenic bacteria secrete small particles called as metabolites. These metabolites attack the gut wall and create leaky pores in gut wall, which we call leaky gut. Through this leaky gut, small particles enter into the circulation and trigger bone marrow to release more number of inflammatory cells. Now it's like a sea of inflammation in which all vital organs are embedded resulting in deadly diseases like Alzheimer's, atherosclerosis, heart attack, stroke, and causing mortalities. Sad part is that there is no approved therapy to treat aging microbiome. So my research is to find the lead molecule which can reverse the aging microbiome. I have conducted experiments and I found that, yes, there is abnormality in gut microbiome of aging mice. Then I have treated the aging mice with a small molecule called as angiotensin 1 to 7. And guess what? This therapy has reversed the aging microbiome to healthy microbiome. This therapy supported the good bacteria to generate detoxifying materials, which has sealed these leaky pores, which has also instructed the bone marrow to reduce the number of inflammatory cells by which it has pacified the sea of inflammation and all the vital organs resume their healthy functions, resulting in healthy aging. This result suggests that angiotensin 1 to 7 is a promising therapy to treat aging microbiome. And if therapists like this get approved, we are one step closer to the eternal youth. But till then, listen to your gut. Thank you so much.